Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter every single day and give my honest thoughts on how the Kickstarter page is being ran. And today it's the wild, wild weekend and I'm going to be checking something outside of the board game spectrum. I'm going to be talking about the Genki Shadowcast for the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 5. The simplest way to play console games on your computer, no internet connection or TV needed. And I think, wow, that is a really cool concept. I know I've lived in a studio apartment before. I've lived out of a car before, and something like this would have been absolutely spectacular in instances like that. And as you can see, it's nearly raised almost a million dollars, 20 days left to go. Let's do it. So the first thing I'm, I'm most concerned about with is can the company do it? But let's hope that vi let's hope this video will put that concern to rest. After being the most crowdfunded gaming hardware project on Kickstarter for both 2018 and 2019... We can't wait. Oh, stop it. Stop it. This is, this is going to be real good. They knew exactly what I was concerned about, and they just put my concerns to rest first thing. Mwah. Beautiful. Keep going. I'd like to share with you what we have in mind for the third project. Hi. I'm Eddie from Human Things. We've always focused on making shared experiences more fun. But with this year, travel's a bit more complicated, so we decided to focus more on the core console experience. So first, let's set the mood. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So what we did was actually make the simplest way to connect your Nintendo Switch or any game console really to your laptop. Introducing Shadowcast. Alright, see the fancy 3D animation. So were they just trolling Xbox by not putting Xbox on there, but putting the PS5 in the Switch? <laughs> because if so, I'm an Xbox fan. But that's still, that's good trolling. That's good trolling. <laughs> so, that's it. Alright, so this can do a little bit more. Um, let me give you a little behind-the-scenes look at what we've been up to for the past few months. Hey guys, long time to see. Hope everyone's healthy and safe. And man, it's just been such a crazy year. Um, but these two past months have been just intense in terms of console launches and gadgets. Super exciting time. Yeah, and I heard all those sweet little rumors. Who would you want the next console? Mm -hmm. Slimmer. That's Bezels. Bluetooth audio. Oh, and bigger screen. But B as least as powerful as a PS4 with a longer battery. Okay, so this is really interesting and unique what they're doing here. Um, so... This is this feels almost like a podcast. It's just like, hey, check out this product, and we're going to slip this podcast right here in the middle. But I feel like what they're trying to do is say, hey, we are like hardcore gamers. And, you know, some of the things that you think, we're just like you. We think the same things, except we're, we're like super smart with computers and soldering and stuff, and we can make it happen. Uh, so I like what they're doing here. I think it's I think so far this video has been great. And I was a little bit nervous at the 446. I mean, that's a pretty long video. Uh, but so far, nailing it. Oh, it would be great if it connects to the computer. Oh man, I, I totally wish I could play on my laptop too. The Mac game library was pretty sad, and I was stuck without a TV for a week. I wanted to try that Pikmin demo when it came out with Jen. <laughs> you know, I think I could actually make this. Really? My fiance has been binging on Netflix all the time on TV. All right, let me see what I can do. Oh. oh. First thing about fiberglass for the circuit board. Garnish it with the finest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm, I'm loving this humor. I didn't want to pause it, uh, but I feel like they did a really good job there in that podcast segment of also kind of spotlighting who this would be for, and and, and that actually came to my mind. There's been times where I've been trying to get on my Xbox, and then um, I I come, you know, I, I'm doing the dishes or whatever because that's normally my my nightly routine. I do the dishes, and then uh, she'll be on the big TV, and I'll be like, well, I don't want to use a small, you know. <laughs> Uh, that's cool. I, I like what they did there. Oh, stop it. That packaging's solid. I hope that's the actual packaging. Uh, wow, 
Wow. I, I cannot get over how different this video is and how insanely well done this video is. And I come from a board gaming background. I would love to see a company do something like this, where it was all about the making of the board game. But, but, but this is, I, I love this. I love this. I love unique Kickstarter videos. Check it out. Work from home, got Shake Jack for breakfast. Anyway, seriously, I got this prototype yesterday in the mail and it's been amazing. I've been playing with Jennifer all day and night and I must say, it is fantastic. Um, only thing is there are a few bugs. Can you work on that, Andrew? No problem. Go check it out. We got Hades running in the background and there's a little bit of latency, I think, but um, can this be fixed? We have a dedicated app to optimize it for us. Hmm. If we can play on the computer now, shouldn't we be able to also record the gameplay? Mm. Like a capture card? But capture cards are quite expensive, no? <laughs> How did you do that? Uh, I love the guy in the bottom. He's the straight man, and he's nailing it. Good, good on you. That was good. Protect it with a webcam, you can use it on software like Zoom or other video chat software. Oh man, Chris, could you feed into a scalper? Nah. My childhood game store hooked me up with it. Whoa, does this mean we can actually play co-op like this? Let me give it a shot. Whoa. This wow. Is crazy. Um, what's up on any of these things? What do you guys want to call it? How about a throwback to Dreamcast? I've been thinking about stealth cast, because it's kind of stealthy and it kind of relates to our Cobra Dog theme. What about Shadow Clone Jitsu? Naruto. Hmm. Oh, they just keep it simple about Shadowcast. Keep it good, yeah? Cool. Shadowcast it is. <laughs> Me? Shadowcast. This little guy lets you click any game console to any computer. Thank you for making us the most crowdfunded gaming hardware project of both 2018 and 2019. With your help, we hope we can do the same again this year, despite the craziness of 2020. Back us today and you'll be among the first to get Shadowcast and experience it for yourself. We'll also immortalize you in the credits of our dedicated app. Again, thank you so much again for your support. It means the world to us. Very, very cool. Oh wow. That is that is such a good video. That might be one of the best videos I've ever seen. Just uh, in my personal opinion, absolutely spectacular. I'm ready to open my wallet, so I hope the first thing they got right here is Bam, hit me with the price. Hit me with the price. Uh, but let's see. Three created. I'm interested. What did they create before as well? I mean, that video pretty much sold me no matter what. Uh, but I'm just out of pure curiosity. Covert dock for the Nintendo Switch. Bluetooth audio. Oh, yeah. I wish I had Bluetooth audio for my Switch. That drives me nuts. I got these awesome headphones for Christmas. And I was like, I'm going to attach them to the Switch. And then it's like, no, you're not. Because we're Nintendo. And it's like, damn you, Nintendo. I still hate you from when you made me buy some weird jack to plug my headphones into my Game Boy Advance. <sighs> I hold on to that. Hold on to that rage. Hold on to it. Uh, yeah, so they, 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 they're catering to the Switch. That's very, very cool. Very awesome. Very wide base. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, I feel comfortable. Um, immediately. We are human things. We make epic stuff for elevated play experiences to support the Shadowcast project and bring it to life. Click back this project or keep on reading. Introducing the Shadowcast. Cool. Uh, yeah, you got all the amazing stuff. But uh, I, I guess I guess this really depends on what percentage of people are watching the video. Because I feel right now, as someone who watched the video, because it was a spectacular video, this just kind of feels redundant. You know, and that's why I, I kind of feel like the price, the price would have been the way to go. Just bam, here's the price. And if you didn't watch the video, here's all the stuff from the video pretty much. But, uh, with, ooh, but now you're giving me more details too, which is really nice. And if I understood any of this stuff, I'd be like, cool. Now this, now this, man, with 30, no. No, 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 it's not $39, is it? Oh my gosh, it's $39. Uh, okay, I have never actually, <laughs> I've never actually backed one of these as I did it, but that sounds like an amazing thing I want for my Switch, but I can't spend money right now. <laughs> All right, naughty. All right, record to your heart's content. Uh, but yes, they talk about that, because that's the other thing, you know, because I was, you know, I could look at this as a business investment if I did it, because there's Switch games that are board games, and so, you, you, oh man, yeah, this is, this is really cool, because it's just appealing to so many different people. 
like travelers. This would be great for travelers. You got maybe yourself, you got a nice big beefy uh, laptop with a big screen or something like that. You take this with you as you go traveling. You know, it's great. So many possibilities like RV people. RV people are always looking on different ways to, um, to get their space down. And if they can, yeah, I just, I think spectacular. Retour to your heart's content. Good stuff. Play nice with others. Twitch exploit. Yeah, I love the fact that they're just pointing all this out, but I just want the price. Oh, I guess you did give me the price. $39. But that's kind of like, that's the, that's a really low-key way to introduce the price first. Like, I feel like, because honestly, I'll be brutally honest with you. Um, when I think of board game or video game accessories, I don't think of cheap. <laughs> cheap is not the word that comes to my mind. So I'm thinking, okay, this is probably going to be 80 to $120. Like, that is my bold prediction. So the fact that this is $39. Oh my gosh. That, that's, that's spectacular. And in fact, I want to see, that's spotlighted on the main picture, right? $39. Because if it's not, it absolutely, 100% sure. How do I find it? Where did it go? Oh, I'm so lost and scared and alone. Uh, what's it called? Shadowcast. I do like to throw back to the dream bag. He said as he stalled for time and typed frantically, hoping not to make mistakes. Yes, he did it. He succeeded. Does it say, it does not say 30. So I would totally, $39. Just bam, pop that, shout that from the rooftops. Because that is, you know, I was wowed by what you showed me. And I honestly thought that that video was so freaking spectacular because you were about to say, hey, baby, $120, come my way. You know, that kind of thing. And you're like, $39, you know, boom. That's, that's spectacular. That is just, bam, I would be shouting that $39 from the rooftop. That's me personally, though. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Video chat, your gameplay. Yeah, that is so cool. All the cool stuff. Like, oh my gosh, it's just so, what? Uh, so nice. Everything, just, they're, they're, they're hitting it. Every single market. Like, if, if you're someone who does anything <laughs> with, you know, electronics or YouTubing or anything like that, like, you're like, okay, so there's probably a way that I can probably use this. And they're really... They're just hitting so many demographics. Just good on you. Good on you. Look at that. Nice, clean, clear. Might as well make it as small as possible. How it works. Cool. Good stuff. I mean, yes, this. This right here. Like, why? This needs to be higher. This needs to be shouted. You can get the shadow cast or the special illuminating one. It will only cost you $39. Hopefully, shipping's down here as well. Shipping anywhere in the world. Hopefully it'll get down to the low. Unlock a bundle discount. Get a shadow cast with matching covert dock for the ultimate ultimate. Whoa! What is the what is the covert dock? What is that? Have you talked about the covert dock? Get a covert dock, a pocketable dock, and GAN charger for the switch and more. Oh, is this like a? Is this like a? Oh, this is to make. Oh, so you can plug everything. Oh wow! Ooh. Woo! Woo! Why? Why haven't? Why am I just now finding out about that? I mean, I've been scrolling kind of fast, but I feel like that—that that was not mentioned. Was this not mentioned? Is are we serious? Come on! No, you got something this cute, this sexy. I want it mentioned. Uh, oh no! I would totally be mentioning that somewhere up in here, you know, just up in there, like because I, I just people watch that video, they're sold. They see it at $39. They're absolutely sold. Uh, you know, because here's the thing. Here's the thing. That's the that's the price I was expecting to see when I got in here. I was expecting $100. I was like, okay, it's going to be $100. Bucks. Oh, but there's oh, there's a limited amount of it. No, it's a, but why is there... Unlock a bundle discount. Get a shadow cast with matching covert dock for the ultimate portable console big screens. Oh, in the app credits. Okay, so that's why that one's special. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, I would be shouting about that too. That's awesome. Add-ons, more shadow cocks. The Genki Audio. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it's so cool. And yeah, you're going to have those add-ons like mad. Get a force field light, a dual magnetic enclosure grip case. What? Yeah, I've been looking. For, I was wondering if they had stuff like that. <laughs> With vegan leather. Force field. If you're need of a flex HDMI premium USB. Buy. What? <laughs> they just got so much stuff. That's awesome. Uh, very cool. I have I have very few negatives to say about this aside from I just think the positioning and the highlighting of certain features that thirty nine dollars like that thirty nine dollars slap me in the face somewhere right here thirty nine bucks because I bet you like because especially when you get it on the front page someone sees thirty nine dollars they say I can I can afford thirty nine dollars oh was shipping was shipping anywhere mentioned that's the other thing uh yeah yeah risk and challenges do they talk about shipping that's the other thing. Um, about us. I would, I would put something about shipping. 
if unless I missed it, shipping was said twelve times. But it might have also been in a picture. Uh, no, no, no. I don't think shipping was mentioned. I would mention what what the shipping is, just so that way I just know it's like oh it's gonna be forty eight dollars out the door and I'm good. I invest the forty eight dollars. I don't think about it ever again. Uh, this is one of the times. Also, normally I say oh stretch goals are great, but it's like I don't know what you do. I don't I don't I don't really see too many stretch goal related things you could do here unless you're talking about maybe uh, I don't know apps or something. But still, I mean the product itself is just gonna be hot. But but what I'm trying to get at is. Uh, keeping people engaged. So, <clears throat> I buy this. Maybe I get the whale. I get the, the cool thing that turns it, you know, the, the, the power brick thing. Uh, and then, what's my reason for coming back? Nothing whatsoever. Like, there's nothing at all where I'm going to come back. No reason. It's like, I paid my money. I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm waiting for whenever this thing ships. But there's no reason to come back. So, what could be a way to potentially get people to come back to this? That's what I'm trying to get here because uh, I think... If you get them to your page, there's a very good, and they're interested. There's a very good chance they're gonna, you're gonna sell. I mean, because this is just so well done. But from a few days ago, about video, and you have one update. Any chance you guys could record a video update using that set? And I know this has been up for uh, like a week or two, right? So yeah, I would, I would try and get maybe more engaged with your your backers on the updates potentially. Any chance you guys could record a video update using that setup? There's no better check for latency, quality of signal, and all that jazz. Plus, there's so much easier to do than a boring text update. Yes, Steph! Steph! Get it, Steph! Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would, that's, a, that's a spectacular idea by Steph. I would come back. I want to see, uh, see this thing being util- used. Yeah, and if you put that in updates, that's going to kind of, uh, yeah. Ooh, Steph is on the ball. <laughs> Go, Steph. Because you could totally just put that on a YouTube page, or you could put it on the page itself. But if you want to get more people back during the campaign, put it as an update. We're going live on this thing to the, 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 actually showcase potential ways. Because you talked about all the different things that we could use this for. Showcase you doing it. Put your money where your mouth is, baby. Uh, Jack Wick. I don't know. What maybe. I can't wait to get this product. Uh, I, I, I'm getting to like this really weird thing where I try and be more careful, uh, careful with the different uh, what is it? Adjec- synonyms. Adjec- the, the the words you use. He, her, his. The you know because uh, I just try to do that more. <laughs> so I end up saying like things where I'll be like, "You guys," it's, I just say, "Baby." And it's like that. I don't know if that's worse or better <laughs> or just weirder. Uh, I can't wait to get this product. I have a monitor. Yeah, 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 you guys didn't mention the Xbox once. Uh, it, does the Xbox work on this? So I am going to do a quick Xbox. Yeah, you, can, <laughs> you just troll them. <laughs> oh, that's great. <coughs> uh, oh, it says Xbox Series SX, but it's also X. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Microsoft's dang names, and I'm a Microsoft fanboy. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, hey, Michael, it's our, I was wondering if there's a function of the covert doc specifically. Is it needed for the Shadow Quest, or is it an add-on? It is our last kick... Oh! Okay. Okay. So now... This, so this is them adding on their last product. And I don't have a problem with that, because they go very well together. Uh, just the whole concept of clearing up space. But once again, I would make that so much... Uh, I, I would, I would, I, you know, and I hate to say this, but I, I would add a section in your Kickstarter, which is like, you can do all this, but if you go with the $99 bundle, which we know you thought you were going to spend anyway, here's what you can do, and you can conserve an, an ungodly amount of space. And that's not going to appeal to everybody. You know, some of the people are here just because they, they, they want to, you know, they, they're, you know their, their kids take up the, the TV, and so they want to play on their laptop or whatever, or... They travel a lot. So that's not for every... Well, that would be that. But but I think for a lot of people, that'd be very appealing. I would add a whole section which just spotlights, yes, if you get this, you're going to get this uh, this great deal where you get both these for this price, and then you're going to have this, that, and the other. And I would totally just... I would, I would emphasize that more as well in the Kickstarter page. Could I hook this up as an Android or iPhone and use the phone as the screen? Hey again, Mike. So with an Android, theoretically, it should work, but every implementation of Android is different. Uh, then you know what? Why don't you just show me running on a uh, popular Android? You know, I'm sure someone in your life, <laughs> you know, has an Android. You say, hey, can I buy your Android phone for like 15 minutes? I'll buy you dinner. You know, something like that. And then put that up and then put a lot of people's mind at ease and say, okay, it, it's running on an Android. You know, it, just little things like that. And now I know with Android, it's totally weird because there's a bajillion Android types of phones. But still, just showcasing what you say it can do, 
is only going to do, I think it's going to do you even more. It's do so much good. Like, why not? Holy guacamole. Every few days, do an update where you literally, the whole update is just you showcasing one of the features that you say it can do. And then in the comments, here you go. Here you go. You say, hey, we're running this contest. We're going to do another update in two days. Which feature do you want us to showcase to show you how it works exactly and utilize it? Like, do that. And that's the kind of thing where all you need is the device, uh, the switch, and, and a camera. Because it doesn't have to be crazy good. Like, it's just like, set up a tripod and just set it up and say, hey, we're doing this thing right here. Zoom in on it. Uh, I know you want to make it look super nice, but in the middle of a stream, people just want to see the functionality of this thing. Uh, and, and yeah, but but they're very active. They're responding to everything. Looks great. On point. Very good. Most, yeah, this is what I like to see. This is what I should see. Just someone, them, someone, them, someone, them, someone, them, because you were there to carry this conversation because that's going to bump you. It's going to tickle those Kickstarter algorithms. So uh, a lot of great stuff going on here. But uh, even with that being said, I think they're still leaving some money potentially on the table by not saying, bam, or just $39. Put it, hell, put it up here if you got room. Say, bam, $39. People are like, what the? Freak $39. Also shipping. I would totally mention more on the shipping. In particular, the international shipping as well. Because I, I did not see that. did not see that. So I'd like to see more. Oh, is it in the FAQs? I bet it's in the FAQs. Uh, well, how is it different than other capture pads? No, 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 no. It's not here. I better mention the shipping. I know it's a small item, so it's not going to be as big as, as where I'm from, where the board game world. Uh, but still. But that was the Shadowcast. Genki Shadowcast for the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 5. It looks like it might become TV. Be sure to click on that Kickstarter link down below. Tell them Bowers Game Corner sent you. That'd be cool. And, as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bloop.